Well, right now, rescue crews are working around the clock across Kentucky to reach those areas that are still difficult to access. Among the hardest hit, the city of Hazard. So joining me now by phone is the mayor of Hazard, Donald Mobellini. Mayor, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us. I know you're so busy, such, such a rough situation there. What's, what's the situation like right now, Mayor? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know where to start, except, I mean, we're, it's sort of total devastation. I mean, we've never had this much rain this fast. And, you know, we've got the town, pretty much the county seat, um, cleaned up. It's the outlying areas in the smaller communities where there's creeks and um, you had 11 inches of rain in 18 hours, and they just, I mean, places flooded that never flooded before. I mean, and it's just this swift water. I think we're up to right now counting 10, 10 uh, fatalities, and that's going to be higher when all of the volunteer rest, um, volunteer uh, fire departments and our fire department are all doing these search and rescues. They've been doing it all day. So, um, you know, we're just, it's just wait, wait and see. Well, absolutely, Mayor. You know, we're taking a look at, at these pictures here. And just talk about how difficult that search and rescue is because at this point, a lot of people are flooded out. They may not have access to electricity to charge their phone. So is it really a matter of just going out and seeing if, if these rescuers can find people? Basically, it's like, you know, like you said, you know, We've been without power in lots of places. I mean, uh, we're without inf our infrastructure system is shot right now. We're going to be without wa water for three days at the minimum for pretty much the entire county of 25,000 people. I mean, our huge water lines were just, you know, they're, they're about 300. They've been in the ground for 30 years. About a quarter of a mile from the river, they washed out. I mean, so it's just. You know, we don't know where to start, but we we are going to get through this thing. I mean, because everybody, if, if you don't know anything about Eastern Kentucky, we all work together. I mean, it's yeah. all it's all or none. And that, that's so good to hear, Mayor. You know, in times like these, people really, you know, do come together. So much devastation there. We know in some parts of the state, you know, river levels have not even crested yet. I don't know what the situation is like there in Hazard, but well, what are let, you telling people to you, do? Let, let me just give you an example. Our river, the river in downtown Hazard crested last night at 1115. Mm -hmm. We have a community in our county that's 27 miles away, and it's not crested there yet. So, you know, we can't even start to do the rescue out there until right. the river goes down. And well, what are you telling people? Are you even able to communicate with those residents that are in that area? Well, basically, I mean, you know, we do have cell, some of them have cell service. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we have a really good pipeline of working with the county government. So, you know, we, we met, I think we've had 13 meetings today about 13 different communities. I mean, we meet and we go out there and just boost on the ground. We put people out there. And, you know, this is what we're doing, you know, compiling a list of how many people's missing, trying to find people, you know, and it's all day long. And um, well, you talk about, we have 133 employees at the city of Hazard. Yeah. Six of our, six of our employees lost everything. Oh. I mean, so obvious, one of our employees that works in the billing department, her and her mother were stuck in a tree for five hours. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I mean yeah. So, I mean, it's just like it is dire. Yes. I mean, it, I mean, you get. I mean, it's almost like you're numb. Right. I mean, it's a story after story. Um, you know, we're telling people, you know, we're coming to you. We've had tons of volunteers. You know, you have to. Get, I mean, you got all this debris. I mean, first of all, you have to cut your way into where they live. Exactly. Oh, Mayor Donald <coughs> Mobellini, I know that you are so busy, sir. Our hearts certainly go out to you. Please keep up the good work. You are truly making a difference. Thank you so much for your time, Mayor. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.